just because it's a change of scenery, I decided to say, hi guys, welcome to the vlog while I'm still at work. Let's do some haunt planning. I think that would be a good thing to do today. I'm rounding the bend. And in the bend, there's somebody getting their trash, and there's a shuttle bus, and there's the ice cream man. What is that? What the hell? Oh, look at the front yard. That's the front yard. So there's kids getting ice cream right there from the pedo van, and oh my gosh, it's the baby. He saw me already. Phoenix, where's daddy? Oh. Daddy, <laughs> His son's in his eyes, he's all squinting. He's daddy. He's like, wait a second, but the ice cream man is more... It's distracting. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's you. It's you. No, it's you. Oh, it's you. And her. Can't see you. You're not holding the camera that direction. So it's me. It is you. <laughs> and him and her. And those people over there that I don't know getting ice cream for the pedal van. Wow. Wow. <laughs> We're looking for a fly. I accidentally let a fly into the house. We need to kill the fly. What? You get that fly before the pizza gets here or you don't get any pizza. Oh, there's a fly. Can you help me get the fly? Okay. You get the dog, I'll get the fly. Where's he at? <gasps> Ooh, it did come back out here. There it is. There it is. There it is. You guys see it? Hold on. Move, move, move. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh, I'm bad. Oh, but it's outside now. It left through the screen. Dang. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a little uh, fly swatter action. Woo! I just didn't get it, but it's outside, wow. so it's all good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. And that is how you baby. This is how you baby. Yep. Super baby! Uh oh. Uh oh. Pants for a hat. Pants for a hat. Pants for a hat. <laughs> no, mommy, no. No pants for a hat. <laughs> All right, so you, you guys were doing something cute on the couch, and then I went and got the camera, and you guys stopped. So that's why we did the pants you for the hat. You gotta have it in your hand all the time, or you snooze, you lose. Have what in my hand? The hammer. Oh. Or else you snooze, you lose. I thought you might have been talking about something else. Well, I know you have that in your hand as much as possible. For my cell phone. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she hits that so hard. Anyway, I came out here real quick because I've been home for quite a while and I've got plans, guys. I've got plans, but I haven't even done the bare necessities. So let me take care of the bare necessities. And I'll get back with you guys in a second. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's helping mama wipe her nose. He is one tired little boy. Alright guys, so update really quickly, and I know I'll get to the haunt stuff that I just talked to you guys outside about here in a second, but to update you guys really quickly, um, first of all, Bank of America sucks. Two, Bank of America sucks. If any Bank of America employee sees this, then it's not personal, but yeah, hate him. Um, so I talked to him today, and I have to refill out all the other paperwork again, and it's just a big freaking headache mess. Um, with that said, oh, I'll get into the haunt in a second. I'd like to include Lori Lee in on it, so maybe we'll have a little powwow here in a bit. Maybe. If not, then I'll just talk to you guys about it here in a second. I said wipe my nose! Wipe my nose! Hi! <laughs> with him going like that, he's going to hit your nose. Oh, good boy. Thank you. Take it out of here. Now I'm going to roll off the couch. Hey, give everybody five. Phoenix, give everybody five. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> now watch yourself. I just turned the screen over, so now you can see himself. Phoenix. Look right here. Give everybody five. <laughs> good boy. He hit the screen, not the the lens so he saved you guys he didn't hit you in the forehead no he's coming to do that to me <laughs> yay 
Oh, we'll give you five or hit you in the forehead. Both. Oh. You gonna wipe my nose some more? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. I mean, quite honestly, you know that he's gonna hopefully have a good heart. That's so awesome. Yes, we're doing something right. <laughs> Although, if you heard heard him cry earlier, you'd think that we were doing something wrong. He's got a new laugh, guys. This is awesome. Hopefully, we can make him do it. Phoenix. Ha ha ha. <laughs> he, he's being prompted right now, but uh, earlier he was doing that laugh and it was so funny because it just sounded like if you were to put it in the haunt, it would just sound so cool because it's just like a kid like, hey, 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 like, I'm going to get you like, hey, hey, hey. yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> Uh, it can't be as creepy as that damn ice cream man just now. <laughs> yeah, the ice cream man just... <laughs> <laughs> just went by at 9.15 at night, and it's it's like 55 degrees outside, and it's a weeknight. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> and the, the light, light went on? Your motion sensor light went on out there at, at, as he was right in front of the house, and I was looking out in the, through the blinds. And he, he turned, as the light went on, he turned and looked at the house. He turned and looked at the house when the light went on, and he was going... <laughs> Creepy! <laughs> This would be perfect timing, because, yeah, this would just be perfect timing. So, oh man, we are going to have so many squirrels or babies. Oh, here, let's do this. Now you're right set up. Ah! Okay, so, haunt. Haunt. I wanted people to get, I, I want your, like, oh, that's my nasty foot. Here, look smell at, my nasty foot. Look at those teeth. Smell my nasty foot. Smell my nasty foot. <laughs> what now? Yeah. This is going to be impossible. <laughs> so, anyway, this year, starting out the haunt in the backyard, they're going to go straight into the basement. So we're going to have the basement. And then earlier I talked to Lori Lee about getting rid of the kitchen this year. <gasps> yes, getting rid of the kitchen. So what I want to do is, in the kitchen, I, and I'm sorry guys, you're going to, we have a baby. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> Especially when he coughs and everything else he does. So anyway. I want to use the same panels that I used in the kitchen again, and you guys know that they have the cabinet doors on them that are dark brown. If we use a blue light in the kitchen, it'll make the panels look uh, whitish instead of the yellow, and it will make the cabinet doors look black instead of brown. Okay, so no painting should really be required. I want to take the refrigerator and take the refrigerator and lay it on its side so it's kind of like a meat locker. And that's exactly what I want to do is I want to make it a virtual meat locker and make it cold because there's a reason for this. And I, we didn't get to this earlier. The reason for this is because it's Inferno. It's Hellmouth Inferno. So, okay, first of all, I'm not... make it cold. Ah, aha, exactly. So we're going to have it cold, but we're going to have a small little drip water feature. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but if you take... Um, they've got garden hoses, and I've got one out front. Hey, when you learn, I'll teach you how to edit, like, later, okay? When you get older, you can learn how to edit. I know. I know you want to learn now. So, anyway, look at them. Here, watch. I'll turn it around. Did you see on the Facebook page somebody posted that projector, that light projector? Yes, the water one. I did. It really does. And that would be more the fire stuff. But what I want to do is, coming out of the meat locker, I want it to feel like and seem like it's getting hot. So if you have a place that is if you have a place that is frozen and you come out of it and water is dripping because I want to make it like a couple drips of water on the people, not a lot. Um, and like I was saying, if you take a wow, you got younger. What? I said you got younger. You're not your mom. Oh my God! There's two of you. Oh, Jesus. Um, so I wanted to say something about the project that I did. That oh, yeah, did. yeah. Yeah. Um, I got an A. But then again, everybody got an A on that project. But I saw everybody else's. And they were just like, if they wanted, if they made a person, they either made it a crappy Barbie doll, 
with like a little bit of paint on it, or it was a piece of paper with like a woman drawn on it, and it was cut out and like stuck in this little cardboard box. So other people's projects were not nearly as good as mine. They paled in comparison to yours, because yours was the best. Yeah, it was the best. What I didn't realize was that one of my group members was uh, really... I don't know, happy or something when she saw the project and she took a bunch of fake blood that she had with her and like toured it. Wait, 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 it. wait, wait, wait. She carried, fl she just had, she happened to have some fake blood. Yeah, apparently. So she like poured fake blood on certain parts of the project that she didn't feel had enough on it. But I was like, I put enough on it to where it would not bleed through anything. She put way too much on it, so now uh. the bottom piece of the cardboard is damp, uh. and the little ti teeny tiny laundry basket that I made is soaked with red, and that, that is not what I wanted. I only put a little splatter of red on it so that it would look like if he flung his arm this way, it like flung a couple drops of blood on the laundry. That's what it was supposed to look like, but I guess yeah. she's just like blood it Well, hold on. So I, I, <laughs> I have a question for you then. What? Can she work in the haunt? I'm sorry, anybody that goes and carries blood on them, fake blood, that's just awesome, so she needs to work in the haunt. Probably. Cool. She seems like a, uh, a quiet person who doesn't get out enough anger, so that might be good for her. That could be scary. <laughs> you always have to be careful of the quiet ones. To wrap up what I was saying a couple minutes ago, which has been like an hour or so for us. Uh, anyway, long time continuum, unless you guys do this. It's really hard to understand. I don't even understand it. You're in the meat locker room in the haunt, and the theme is Inferno. So as you exit the frozen meat locker, I want it to get hot, and I want dripping water, like basically ice melting. And not a lot of drips, not enough to make the floor or the, the ground wet and soggy and nasty, but just enough to like maybe even have somebody like mist them or something like that. Something like that. Just a thought. And then I've got other ideas, but I want to start writing them down instead of just having them in my head. So, with that said, it's time for cock. I wouldn't lie to you guys. It is time for cock. LJ Mike 1204 It's cool. It only needs a ghost or some fog. I don't know how you do fog on a tattoo, but of course, I'd leave that up to the artist. And a ghost? Yeah, maybe if one of the windows was big enough, it'd be kind of cool to have a ghost in the window. Cap zone 2, around 6 minute mark. The door opened behind you and closes. Spooky. Yeah, that was Phoenix. But that I went back and watched it again. That was really kind of cool. Little Giles. Love the tattoo idea. I forgot to mention the other day that I like Lori Lee's new hair. New channel sounds great too. Thank you and she thanks you. Jordan Winton. Right in the vlog when it had bird sounds. I was listening to birds here too. Um, oh, have you ever been in the haunt when there's nobody there at night and it feels like someone is watching you? Yeah, quite honestly... Like, especially last year when I would turn the lights off in the haunt, I wouldn't go anywhere else. <laughs> I would pretty much go straight out the door because, not because I'm afraid of anything, but I just knew that there is a, that had the possibility of a cat being somewhere, and that would just scare the shit out of me if I came around the corner and there was a cat. Lisa A, don't forget a J-O-L in the tattoo. J-O-L. Please specify. It's late at night. I'm tired. Sleep deprivation. Adam Owens. Ha ha. Hashtag. Hashtag. FEMA has come into our town because we only have 40 days of water left. Are you freaking serious? That's horrible. Wow. They're going to start trying to get people to move out of the area because it's a national disaster, but you only get help if you own your home. So what do the renters do? It's like they just don't care about them. That's crazy. Uh, Jason Christopher 77, haha, I love your squirrels, I have them too. So guys, I have an idea about a new tattoo. Ooh, look at my arm. <laughs> and Judd Ware, the last comment of the night, certainly the best. Bank of America sucks. Try changing to a credit union. I agree. All right, guys, happy haunting. See you tomorrow. I don't think this is the hell mouth anymore, Toto.